Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. This man is singing a cover of a Calvin Harris song. What two words does he sing between deep and love? If you're watching this with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, please pause the video and compare your answers. He's saying, how deep is your love? However, instead of the z sound at the end of is and the y sound at the beginning of your, he makes a different sound. What is it? He makes the sound j, which kind of the symbol here is like a, a little letter three. Um, so that can be confusing when English language learners are trying to hear individual words. So why is this other sound inserted in between is and your? It's due to a feature of connected speech called coalescence when two separate sounds merge to form a new, different sound. So in English, in connected speech, sometimes a final z sound in a word and an initial y sound in the following word combine to make a z sound at the boundary. So instead of is, your, you end up hearing is your. Please note, this can also happen inside just one word. Um, like when the S and the I and the A merge to form a J sound in the word Asia. However, since our focus is on connected speech, we're only looking at where this happens when the end of one word meets the beginning of another word. If you don't understand the symbols I'm using to represent sounds in this video, please see the link in the information box below to the interactive phonemic chart. Let's look at a few more examples. Number one, as you know. As you know. Number two, his university is closed. His university is closed. Number three, does your family know? Does your family know? You might have noticed that in the second example, the second word starts with the letter U. That's because we're not just looking at the letter Y, we're looking at the sound Y, which can be created by the letter U, the letter Y, 
or as we saw with Asia, even IA can create that sound. Just a brief note on why a final S can sound like Z. So when the sound before a final S is voiced, meaning your voice is used to make the sound, not just air, then S is pronounced Z. Here are a few examples. So we've got all, all vowels are voiced. So we've got I in his and E in these but also consonants like g in bags and er in chairs. For comparison, a couple of examples of unvoiced sounds where you just use air and your lips, teeth, tongue, or throat are k and p. No voice. So now I'd like to give you some practice in hearing this type of coalescence. I'm going to say 10 phrases. Please write what I say. If you need to, pause the video and number a paper or document 1 through 10. So again, listen and write or type what you hear. Each line will tell you the number of words in that phrase. So I'm going to say them three times, fast, and then slower, and then fast again. Here we go. Number one, I was young. I was young. I was young. Number two. Sometimes you forget. Sometimes you forget. Sometimes you forget. Number three. Are these yours? Are these yours? Are these yours? Number four, is your brother here? Is your brother here? Is your brother here? Number five, because you said no. Because you said no. Because you said no. Number six, the internet is useful. The internet is useful. The internet is useful. Number seven, they always use cash. They always use cash. They always use cash. Number eight. Don't lose your keys. Don't lose your keys. Don't lose your keys. Number nine, mom says you can go. Mom says you can go. Mom says you can go. Number 10, exercise allows you to eat more. Exercise allows you to eat more. Exercise allows you to eat more.
So now if you're watching with other people, pause the video and compare your answers. If you need to, go back and replay parts of the dictation. Here are the answers. Pronouncing a feature of connected speech can help you hear it when other people use it. So I'm going to say each phrase twice. Please listen and repeat after me. The most important thing is to try to say the j sound in between the two words. Here we go. Number one, I was young. I was young. Number two, sometimes you forget. Sometimes you forget. Number three, are these yours? Are these yours? Number four, is your brother here? Is your brother here? Number five, because you said no. Because you said no. Number six. The internet is useful. The internet is useful. Number seven. They always use cash. They always use cash. Number eight, don't lose your keys. Don't lose your keys. Number nine, mom says you can go. Mom says you can go. Number 10, exercise allows you to eat more. Exercise allows you to eat more. So to review, sometimes a final z sound in a word and an initial y sound in the following word fuse to a z sound due to a feature of connected speech called coalescence. A final example is children as young as six can play. Children as young as six can play. Now it's your turn. Think of another example of a z sound at the boundary of two words. The first with a final z and the second with an initial y. And write it in the comments or pause the video and share it with your teacher and classmates. And now for the real world challenge. Find an example of z coalescence with the final z sound followed by an initial y sound in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.